Boy guys, I would love to be shooting you another timber framing video tonight, but uh, we had a major interruption today, or at least I did anyway. I don't know if you guys see all the helpers running around, but I sure as hell haven't seen them. So anyway, should be working on this. Instead, we're working on this. That hay wagon looks like Jethro Clampett got in there with a hammer and a screw gun and some duct tape and just, wow, there's some uh, interesting stuff done on that hay wagon. So, we're going to be rebuilding that tonight. Um, what happened was, I'm trying to free up the tractor so I can use it for lugging on these beams and stuff to save my body. But, uh, so I'm trying to get all the hay drawn up the road where it's got to go. And get halfway across the field on the third low and the damn main wooden frame, not the running gear, but the wooden frame. It's dry rotted, it's nasty, it busted right in half, dropped the wagon right on the tire. Surprised we didn't lose the tire, but uh, so that's what that's what we have. That's uh, <laughs> another friggin interruption, but hey, what do you do? So if any of you ever wonder why this thing's taking the time it's taking, look behind me and you can see it. I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I get the urge to go on a backyard buffalo hunt and fill everybody everybody's freezer you know what I'm saying you start to wonder if uh, the cows are worth it but so anyway here we go I'll catch you guys on the other side of it and I'll show you that part that's busted when we get to that point but now I'm gonna throw the chaps on fire up the chainsaw I got a nasty ass old chain on there and I'm gonna cut the rest of this frame off I denailed and unscrewed a bunch of it and burnt what I could the rest of it's gonna go to the uh, to the farm dump so I'll see you guys on the other side of it. Well, I told you guys I'd show you where it broke, and that's her right there. Rotted right off of there, but that's the way it goes when you got these made out of wood. I'd love to have a nice metal one, but that's just not in the cards for us. Um, so, we've got quite a bit of work to do, but that's... We're lucky that didn't do that on the road with a load of hay on it. Somebody behind us, somebody really could have been hurt. But you can see where somebody's scabbed this on here at some point. It's just, yeah, they used hardwood structures on there. They look like look to be white oak, but uh, they're so thin, they're narrow spaced. I mean, shit. That's only like a two and a half inch wide piece right there running the whole length of this thing. So we're going to beef that up a little bit better than that. I've got a bunch of pressure treated 2x10s that we're going to carriage bolt together. We're going to turn this into a 20 footer. And we also have uh, 6x6s we're going to be putting on top. But uh, should be a lot better by the time we're done. So isn't that beautiful? I actually dropped down. I don't know if you can see the wear spot right there. That's where the board was rubbing it. I had to haul it home. We had to unload it and then I had to haul it back here with a board rubbing on there. Lucky we didn't lose the tire. So, anyhow, I'll get you a shot of the poor old uh, power smoke. But, anyhow, we're going to keep going.
All right, she's so starting to get late, guys, and I'm going to go to bed a reasonable time tonight. Again, I got a light in my face again, so I apologize, guys. I'm kind of looking forward to when we can do more of this stuff in daylight, but uh, like I said, if you guys wonder why this the main project's taking so long, it's usually stuff like this that tends to hold us up and or hold me up, I should say. But uh, so anyway, I guess the next couple nights we're going to be building this thing. I probably won't run the camera too terrible much. I don't know yet. Well, I never know until I'm actually doing it. So anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. I promise more barn stuff very quickly uh, next weekend. It looks like I'm going to be taking a day or two to run after a log, so I'm going to be bringing the chainsaws back in the woods. We're going to be cutting some more trees down and hauling them home. So until then, I will see you guys next time.